It's happened to everybody. After buckling into your car and starting your trip, your phone rings and you get a text message. It's easy to just take a few moments to check, but those few seconds could be the difference between life and death. Las Cruces High Junior Amalia Zeitlin is one student who's chosen not to text behind the wheel. She believes that taking that leap of faith isn't worth all the possibilities of what could go wrong. I choose not to text and drive because it's dangerous. You know, most teenagers don't think that anything could happen to them on the road. And sometimes I feel that way, but I've heard so many stories about people getting in car accidents and dying and killing other people while texting and driving. And that to me would be the worst, is someone else paying for my mistake. While there are students like Amalia that choose not to text and drive, many students think that their peers will never stop taking that leap. I don't think it will change until it directly affects a person, because that's how I think. I think unless it directly affects you, it won't change. I don't think anybody will stop doing it until something bad happens or until they realize that it really isn't okay to do it. We've grown up around technology and we feel that if, even if we don't have our cell phone, that we're going to miss something exciting that happened. Right now, anyone caught texting and driving faces a $92 fine. If someone gets into an accident, they can face jail time for reckless driving. Dan Trujillo, spokesman for the Las Cruces Police Department, explains that police officers are keeping an eye out for those who've chosen to break this law. He explains that especially for teenagers, the goal should be to focus on the road and away from distractions of electronic devices. Your responsibility is supposed to be on driving. You're supposed to pay 100% attention to the road, to other traffic, to your driving. When you're that young especially, you need to make sure you don't have any distractions. If you just make the decision to turn off your phone before you drive, you won't have to worry about any of these problems. Katie Beery, Bulldog Broadcast.